Good morning, everybody. Mike Gross from Breath Woodworks. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. Today, I've got a stack of magnolia bowl blanks that I have cut yesterday on the bandsaw, uh, on my sawmill bandsaw. And uh, today, I'm going to start processing them into full bowl blanks to get them where I can then turn them. So the, this is a stack. I've got 18 that will net me at least 36 bowls, if not more, maybe uh, uh, close to 50 if I do it right. But um, yeah, this 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 right here will constitute uh, um, probably two to three thousand dollars in revenue uh, after the fact. But for right now, let's get started with. Uh, putting them on the bandsaw and getting them cut into circles. Okay, uh, so I've got my first full blank here. And uh, a lot of people have their jigs that they buy in order to uh, rough it out and get the, get the, the rough circle drawn. Uh, mine is a lot simpler. Uh, I find my center. that and I have a board that I put a screw in I have holes roughly every inch I put it in there I use my big pencil and I draw it out and that is that now I'll take it to the bandsaw and knock off these corners all right, I got my bowl blank up here, and all I'm going to do now is knock these corners off and get it uh, ready to put on the lathe. All right, so one of the things is when you are cutting logs and into bowl blanks like this, you need to do it pretty fast. If you have cut it into this position, if you let it sit more than a few days, you're getting cracks. So it's absolutely imperative that you get this cut get it roughed out and then get it protected so that it can dry slowly to prevent cracking. Okay, so this one's done. Time to do the other 17. Okay, I've got all 18 of my bowl blanks done. I've got seven that are 14 to 15 inches. I've got eight that are um, 11 to 12 inches, and I got three that are less than 10. And uh, so, yeah, these will, uh, these will net me some good money once I have them all finished. All right, so now we're gonna throw them on the lathe and start roughing them out. Smallest bowls and work up, and I'm gonna end up sitting in a mountain of shavings here. Uh, when I put my faceplate on, 
I don't go crazy about anything. I eyeball it. I'm looking straight down the opening at the little cross I made in the middle to find the center. I eyeball it and set it in because I put it on my lathe and it'll be very quickly and it will be round. If I'm off a little bit, well. All right, let me get this on the lathe. Since having my heart condition, cutting myself is a much bigger deal than it ever was before. <laughs> All right, hopefully this thing won't get too bad. All right, so these little ones, I think are really gonna lend themselves to being Viking balls. So I'm gonna get it in that general shape and leave it for, and I will I'll hollow it out, but these aren't gonna be cored because they're, they're just too small. All right, so I had to stop and sharpen, and uh, when I was sharpening, I noticed I had blood running down on my fingers. So a month and a half ago, a uh, little scratch, literally a scratch like that, I have ignored, wiped it off with a rag and kept on going. But then I noticed I had blood running down on my hands. I'm like, geez, it looks like I ax murdered somebody. Okay, I uh, got that straightened out, hopefully. And uh, I'm gonna get back to uh, roughing this one out. I really like the grain on this uh, on this magnolia. It's got some interesting looks to it. All right, let me keep going. All right, that's all I'm going to do on this outside of this one. All I got to do now is form my tenon. Okay, so got my 18 magnolia bowls roughed out. I've got this pile to uh, count for it. Uh, I'm now gonna start coring, but I gotta get rid of all this first. Okay, it's time to start coring. Um, I've got my smallest one set up right now.
one's done. So this is the first of my big magnolias that I have cored. This one, the large one is 13 inches across. The next one is 10 and the small one is seven. So when I finish these up and I sell them, the small one will be $30. The midside one will be 40 to $50. And the large one will go for uh, upwards to $100, depending on what I do with it. And uh, so you're looking at uh, about $180 for this one bulb blank. So the next step will be to boil these uh, and then I'll put pentacryl on them and put them up to to dry. But uh, for now I'm gonna put you on time lapse to do the rest of them. So that's it. That's all my magnolia. Uh, I've got 36 bowls out of it. Uh, it would have been 37, but I had one uh, miss, <laughs> had one problem with uh, my coring. Uh, but besides that, they all will be should be usable. And uh, yeah, so next step is to boil them. these go for an hour hour and a half uh, boiling and uh, then I take them out and I coat them with pentacryl then I store them and they only it only takes a month month and a half and they'll be good to go all right time to take it out of the take the first batch out of the boiling water
time to add the pentacryl. I hope I got enough. We will see. It's uh, kind of expensive, but I've had I have much better luck with pentacryl than I do with anchor seal. That's why I use it. Here is my stack of bowls all done. Finished with pentacryl. I'll probably add one more coat of pentacryl later on before I put them up into my loft. But for now, uh, these are, are done. All right, thank you all for watching. If you think you've gotten anything out of this, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that very much. Also, everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.